Hey, John Little here for SwasuAthletics.com. We are talking soccer with the head coach of the Swasu soccer team. Mark Pearson's with us, along with uh, defender Charlotte Eastman as well. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Man, that season's just around the corner. We, uh, we get so excited for soccer around these parts. You know, we're old soccer aficionados. Uh, but, uh, Coach, it was a rough season last year. Really young team. Uh, but what did you do to try to take the best uh, – parts of last season and accentuate them going into this year. Yeah, well, I think we always anticipated this past season as having some challenges. Sure. You know, with so many seniors graduating that, that, that played a lot for us. Uh, obviously, we didn't anticipate all the challenges that we went through, but um, the, the positive thing, I think, about, about this last year was we had a lot of freshmen that, that played a lot of minutes for us that um, we haven't had that situation in the last couple of years. And so those girls are coming in with some experience. I think some of the older girls, um, you know, kind of learn to take some responsibility and some leadership because they really had such a strong senior group the year before. They've kind of had to work through that and realize some of the things that they have to do to be leaders on the team now. And so again, you know, Charlotte being one of those girls, but we've got a really good group of girls who will be seniors this year that I think have kind of moved themselves into that role. And, uh, and again, realizing that nothing's for granted. You know, we've had two pretty good seasons, and then realizing that hey, it takes hard work, a little bit of luck involved, and and so I think those are all things that they can learn from and uh, and move forward with. And again, I think they also kind of understood with the injury situations that we were in, with our kids being ineligible and redshirted and so on, that uh, that it would look a lot different next year when, when we get back after it. So I think. I think everybody's pretty excited to get going again. I know the margin for error is pretty small, and that's something that you guys learned last year. Charlotte, you led the team with five goals a year ago, yeah. all region honors. But what did you take out of last year, you know, positive or negative, that can help you for this season? Um, it's good that uh, lots of freshmen got to play. We knew it was going to be like harder because we lost so many seniors. And now this year we've got even more players coming in, and I'm, I'm excited. Well, about 10 freshmen, oh my gosh, yeah, no, 10 freshmen come in, Coach. Surely some of those are going to have to play. How do you go about uh, working them in? Well, we've added a few since. Oh, we've really? Yeah, Oscar. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, it's always exciting bringing new yeah. players in, and, and uh, you know, we really feel like, I feel like probably this group of freshmen that I'm bringing in, I probably know better than any other group that, that I've brought in. Um, we've been recruiting them for, for quite a while now, and so I've Anticipate a lot of them getting an opportunity to play, battling with the upperclassmen for playing time. Uh, again, soccer season happens very quickly. And I was looking at our schedule. We have our first day of training camp. Three days later, we have our first scrimmage. And uh, of course, the girls will be excited about that. Uh, you know, they always look forward to those scrimmages. But uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, first game on our schedule is a pretty tough one up in Minnesota. Uh, so we've, we've got to get those girls kind of worked in uh, pretty quickly. Uh, but it's going to be, I think it's just going to be an exciting time. Well, it's always exciting. Newness is exciting. There's certainly a lot of that, and like you mentioned, coming up this year. Um, you know, Charlotte, the, the schedule the coach puts together is just rigorous, and he does that, I know he says, because, um, you know, you guys need to beef up that schedule to have a chance to make the playoff down the line. Is that something that the – girls welcome, or is that kind of a, a daunting thing, the schedule that you guys have? I mean, it kind of seems daunting, but if we want to make it to the national tournament, then the better our schedule is, the more likely we're going to get there, and it gives us more of a challenge. You don't want to go to a team and think, oh, this team might break it. You think you're just going to walk all over them, you need a challenge. It's like Minnesota, we didn't lose to them badly last year, and this year we're going to be better, so we've got a chance. Well, you mentioned you're going to be better. Again, the conference just keeps improving all around you. That's what you have uh, within, a, within a conference. And you had another really quality team in Oklahoma Baptist, a team that uh, beat you guys in two overtimes last year. What do you think about the conference now that it's going to set? Yeah. Well, I think adding teams is great. Uh, I think probably the most significant thing with our conference is that we should have an automatic qualifier in the national tournament. And that was 
far as recruiting kids, not just in our program, but all the programs, that's that's a significant thing. Uh, but adding teams to the to the conference, I, I feel like the success that we had, you know, the past two three years has really challenged other teams, and everybody is really stepping up. You know, all the teams have gotten better um, and kind of settling into a conference and developing our conference rivalries and things like that have, have uh, helped push the, the conference forward in terms of soccer. So. Um, you know, I think when you, you start as a brand new conference, you always have a little bit of, you know, people aren't sure what to expect, and you have to kind of earn your stripes a little bit, and I think we're, we're in the process of doing that. Well, it's certainly been a little bit of an uphill battle as far as that's gone, and I know that's been rough on you, but at the same time, you've made the best of it. Kind of like the, you made the best of last season, you know, uh, a lack of wins or, you know, just trying to rise up in talent means that there are holes to fill. And you guys were able to recruit to that, to go back to recruiting just a little bit. Not normally do you see such success in recruiting with a two-win team, but, I mean, there are just doors open to you everywhere because of Swasu soccer. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, the, the timeline a little bit for recruiting in, in soccer is, is a little bit further out. So a lot of these kids we've been working with for two years. Uh, but they see the potential here. Um, Again, I think last season, I think everybody understood you when know, we get to the last few games and we're playing with a lot, a lot of our starting players, you know, sidelined. So, and, and even if you look at our conference matches, we were, you know, we were in every game, um, even towards the end. So, um, I think that the recruits coming in kind of knew what what to expect uh, in the sense that uh, uh, we've set the bar pretty high. Um, if we don't win the conference, you know, qualified in the national tournament is going to be a disappointment for these girls, I feel like. And uh, and so that's the challenge that these recruits are looking for. And uh, so those are the kind of kids we want in our program that want to come into us as a challenge. Do you see some significant battles going into what you talked about, fall camp, all the a short fall camp? Yeah. Well, there will be battles at every position. The, the lineup that we have, the kids we have returning, um, obviously the senior crew, Samantha coming off, Sammy coming off with her red shirt, some of the kids that were injured at the end of the season, uh, you know, a lot of them were seniors too that were, were out at the end of the season. Those girls coming off their injuries and getting back in, and the new class we have coming in, I don't think that there's a position on the field that there won't be a battle for. Um, obviously, you know, the girls that have played a lot, I kind of know what to expect from them, and that helps, but, uh, but we really have good depth at every position. Well, Charlotte, and I love your Oklahoma accent, by the way, but, uh, you know, with all of the uh, competition, you know, sometimes, and I'm sure this is not going to be the case, that could bring antagonism. How do you as a senior keep that from happening, to keep the girls together while they are trying to compete in such a uh, tough environment? I mean, when you compete in position, it's just all of a sudden, it shouldn't affect you off the sudden. So if someone plays better than you, someone's working harder than you, they're going to play. So you just have to play harder. And if you don't play, you've just got to work harder. There's no other way around it. And the coach sees people working hard. So he knows who's been working over the summer, who hasn't. But he can tell straight away. Well, we're really, really proud of this program. All of the soccer team has accomplished and looking forward to a bounce back season for guys. Thank you so much, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Charlotte, thank you as well. For Mark Pearson, Charlotte Eastman, I'm John Little for SwassoAthletics.com.